What is up guys my name is Warren So and in this tutorial I'm going to send email using email.js in a react application. Okay let's get started. First of all I'm going to create a component inside source folder. So create a folder and create your component. Now I'm going to create a functional component. Let's name it mailer. So inside return div now let's give a heading so h1 let's say contact form then let's create a form first of all we need name so label name then we need an input input the type is text and let's give a name let's call it name then the second one is email so label email then the input the type is email let's give a name let's say user email then we need a text area for message so the label then create the text area let's say message and we need four rows then we need a button so input Okay, let's run our React app. So npm start. Now go back to VS Code and go to app.js. Let's clean up this code. Just delete this and let's import our component. So mailer. I have auto import extinction so you can see it is automatically imported. So if you don't have, you have to type it manually. Okay, let's check the design. Yeah, this is the basic form. And now I'm going to design it using Bootstrap and some CSS. Okay, now search Bootstrap CDN. Click the first link and just copy this code. Now go back to VS Code. Open a public folder and open index.html and paste the code inside head. Save it. Now let's go to our component and let's decorate it. So first, so the class name is container with border. So these are bootstrap classes and let's give some styles. So style, let's say, let's say margin top 50 pixel and do a width 50%. Then let's give a background image. So background image url and we need to give an image url so let's get an image so you can find beautiful images on the google so i'm going to select this so let's click this and right click open image in new tab just copy the image url paste it here then the image should be in the center so background position center then the background size is cover let's check our design not bad we need space about this title so h1 let's say margin top uh, 25 pixel okay then let's decorate the form so class name row then some styles And let's give a class name for input field. So class name is form control. This is bootstrap class name. And copy this and paste it inside text area and the name. Save it. Let's check our design. Okay, much better. And we need to give a color to this button. So class name form control button btn btn primary so primary is basically blue color yeah it's nice but we need some space here so style margin top uh, let's say 30 pixel save it no much better now i'm going to install email.js so in your terminal 
npm i stand for install email js dash com okay now import it now we need to create the on submit function so inside form on submit uh, let's call it sent email now we need to create this function so copy that name and let's create a function so function and we need to stop the reload so e dot prevent default then email js it has a function called send form and then we need to pass four parameters before that we need to create an email js account so go back to your browser and go to emailjs.com just sign up here it's free i have created my account already so i'm going to sign in first we need to create email service so click add new service click your email provider then connect account then create service then we need to create email template so create new template click content go back to VS code so the first input is name so the name is name so copy this and replace it then here we are going to call it hello the name which which is the input name and here you got new message from again name And you can make changes to the text so I'm going to bold it I'm going to increase the size also I can change the font right so here message I need to get the message so and let's check the name of the field the name is message so it should be message okay the same then to email I'm giving my email and here so I'm going to replace it by the user's email address so double curly braces the field name is user email just copy this and paste it here that's it and save it now now we have to pass four parameters so the first parameter is you can get it from service so click on email service and the service ID is the first parameter just copy this paste it and the second parameter is template ID so go to email template and copy this ID so you can go to setting and you can get the template ID just copy this paste it it should be a string then our input from this e dot target so it will pass all our form data then our user ID so go to integration and you can find our user ID here just copy this and paste it then we are going to print the success message so dot then respond and let's look it if there is any errors so we need to catch that so catch that's it and now let's check our app so control shift i let's give a name and email message Okay, now percent yes you get the respond okay now let's check our email yeah it's working fine that's it guys thank you for watching if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel and like my videos thank you guys see you in the next tutorial bye bye